Very well, how are you? Good. Welcome to South by Southwest. Thank you. How's the festival treated you so far? Uh, I just arrived, so, so far it's horrible. It's too, too early to say, too early to tell. Well, we're all about to go in and, and see the first midnight screening at the festival. It doesn't sound like a very light-hearted romp, not that you're known for that. Um, it depends on how you, what you're looking for in your lightheartedness. I mean, uh, for me, it was a highly lighthearted romp. Um, it was a really cool movie to shoot because um, the, the level of engagement um, is so original. I've never, I, you know, what attracted me first and foremost um, was the script. You know, I, I'm in a world that I'm completely unfamiliar with and with every passing page that I'm turning, it's, I'm getting deeper and deeper involved and, I'm, and more and more disoriented but I can't wait to find out where this is going because it's so well constructed. So that's why I'm here. And is that a journey you hope the audience takes with you? That, you know, being disoriented and... Nah, fuck them. I don't give a <laughs> shit. What happened? I don't care what they think. <laughs> well, I'm just here for the popcorn, bro. <laughs> well, there's some great popcorn over there. We just I, came out of another screening. Very hungry. <laughs> How long are you in Texas for? Uh, I have another movie um, on Monday called uh, Before I Disappear, and I'll stay and see that Monday afternoon, and then I fly home Monday night. And uh, I have to ask this as a fan, did you get to keep the shoes from Pacific Rim? I tried to, but uh, uh, you know, Guillermo beat me to it. <laughs> Do you ever get to keep a prop from, from your films? I, not when I'm in a Guillermo movie, because he gives, me, he gives me the coolest shit, and he takes it all. <laughs> he's probably got some museum that he's planning to open in. No, 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 he, he's not planning, it's open. <laughs> he, d he does, he has a separate house, for his collection. It's about you know half a mile from his real house that he lives in. And it's called the Man Cave. Um, and it's, uh, it's spectacular. It's, uh, he's got an amazing collection of things that have sprung from his imagination and things that have sprung from the imagination of his heroes. And, you know, he's just, there's a book that just came out called <coughs> Cabinet of Curiosities. <coughs> and it's basically just Guillermo's world. And there's a lot of photographs from his his man cave. Well, we'll have to check that out and can't wait to see the film. I hope it all goes well. Thanks very much for your time.